Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here today. And today we've got this, oh, I have this stalactite or stalagmite. I'm not sure. I think it's a stalagmite because of the way it's formed. But anyway, I got this in a big box full of rocks when I bought that um, old antique cabbing machine. And it wouldn't set. And it still sort of rocks. So I took it over to the saw and I cut the bottom off so I could have it setting. And well, let's take a little bit closer look. And it looks pretty cool. I was curious of what it looked like inside. And uh, well, like I said, I needed to, to set. And I was going to polish it up and I'm like, wait a minute, why am I, why aren't I doing this for a video? So I'm doing it for a video. Because I like to share the stuff that I do with y'all. So what I got is a somewhat gnarly looking cut on there. So I think I'm going to actually polish it concaved, like sort of like it is. But I want to see how this uh, looks polished up. And it's calcite, of course. So let's make it just a little bit wet to get an idea. And it looks like there's going to be some nice structure in there. And, yeah, it's just sort of cool how these things form. What's even more cool is to see what it looks like polished. So, let's zip over to the wheel and let's polish this up. Okay? Okay, so here we are at the Wheel of Destiny. So, let's get the water going. Ooh, that was quick. <clears throat> Get that little spin to help it out. And yeah, I'm going to start with the... Well, the water was going. There it is. I'm going to start with the 80 grit wheel. It may be a little too... Maybe a little too uh, aggressive. But we're going to see what it looks like anyway. So, you know, I hate to destroy... Not really destroy, but to cut up a stalactite or a stalagmite. But I'm not really cutting it up. I'm just making it more, more appealing. And we want to see how it looks, so it's science. Hmm. And I can see already that that's pretty darn aggressive. Has a pretty wonky sound too. There are a lot of saw cuts in here. I couldn't quite get it cut as smooth as I wanted to. Wow, that is really chipping the crap out of it. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Wow, let's see. Yeah, that's gnarly ended up pretty bad, so we're gonna have to. I figured we'd have to forego this wheel and go over to the to the 300 grit. So let's just do that now and let's jiggle your eyeballs out. I really do like this new phone holder. It's a li little more versatile. I can adjust it and I can adjust it right to the vision, right to my line of sight. Oh yeah, this is much better. So you are seeing it basically exactly as I'm seeing it. Almost exactly. Which is good. You can see what I see. You see what I see. I don't think it's going to be a long video today because I don't think it's going to take an extremely long time to get smoothed up. And honestly, we're getting there right now. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. There is a lot of porosity in that. Probably because it's the way it formed. And some of that could have come from that more aggressive wheel chipping stuff away. Because there was a lot of gnarlies coming out of there. Because it's a little bit concave, I'm going to have to go like one direction. So if I go this way... Well, you can sort of see 
that it's not gonna not gonna do well. I'm gonna catch the edges of the wheel. The angle isn't exactly exactly like like I'm looking at it, but it's very very close. Okay, let's take a look at it there. Okay, what do we have? We have out of focus. There we go. Well, it is taking some of the gnarlies out. Get that water out of the center. I think that's going to really show that inside structure, though. So let's just work this a little bit more. That 80 grit wheel is extremely aggressive on this cow site. Extremely aggressive. Then some of the stuff I cut, I need that 80 grit wheel. I could use like a like a 200 grit for some of this stuff. Maybe I will get one someday. It's hard to say. Perhaps if I get some money, I will buy some new wheels and set everything up to accommodate every instance. But where would be the fun in improvising? Okay, that is taking a lot of the gnarlies out. But there is still a lot of porosity in there, especially over here. Gee, I can... Yeah, do you see that? I don't really want to tear too much of this out. Because that's awfully thin. I think we're going to have to settle for a semi... semi-smooth piece. Because we do have some deep gnarlies in there. Even a... semi... semi-smooth polish will... really make this nice. do the dabby thing. What do we got? That's looking pretty nice. I think... Yeah, I think we can go to the next wheel now, to be honest. Like, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, let's go to the next wheel. So, kill the water, kill the power. Oh, undo the... thingy-do. And... Tighten up the phone holder of destiny. Why is it not tightening up? There it is. <laughs> and this is the wheel of the bad valve. Hmm. Ooh, the bad valve went pretty quick right away. Okay, so let's start. Oh yeah, that's a little jumpy. And that's a unique sound. I've not heard that sound before. I always loved stalactites and stalagmites. Oh, that was super cool how they formed one little drop after drop after drop, depositing a bit of calcite or limestone or whatever it's dissolving to make these gorgeous formations. Nature, you know. And we'll give this a good once over twice before we take a look at it. Being as soft as it is, it should polish up pretty quick. All right, let's take a look after we <coughs> after we do the dabby thing. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty darn smooth. And I don't believe that we're going to be able to get all the gnarlies out of there. But we are going to get it able to get it polished up enough that we can have a good look at the structure. I love to have specimens like this hanging around. I need a wall to display all of my... All of my rocks on rocks and minerals and cool-looking thingies. Okay, let's take
take another look after we do the dab. Focus. There. Wow, yeah, that's looking pretty nice. That is looking pretty nice. And I think that's all the more we're going to have to do on, on that wheel. If that means readjusting the handle. Handle. The holder. The holder of destiny. Okay. The holder of destiny has been attached and we're down to the 1200 grit. The 1200 grit of polishiness. And I can still hear some pieces flying off of there. It could be the wheel itself, or pieces of the wheel itself flying off. Like I said before, this wheel is starting to get a little bit worn. Still works nice, though. Yes, it is definitely getting shiny. And the structure is starting to come out very well. And I think just a little bit more, more polish on here, and I'm definitely going to hit this with the Zam. I uh, hit that with cerium oxide, it would fill that whole thing up with pink, and it would look like the pink stalagmite of doom or something. And we don't need that. Dab it, dab it, dab it. Focus. Oi. Yeah, that's looking nice. And I really do not think we're going to get any better than that with the way that this rock is. Stalagmite. So, turn that off. And I'm going to dry this piece off really well. And I'll meet you back over at the desk after I hit it with the Zam. So, don't go away. It's going to be great. I promise. Okay, we're back. We have been Zammed. And let's take a look at this. As you can see, it actually polished up pretty nice. There is a lot of, I'd say undercutting, but it's actually holes in there. As you can see by the reflection that it's pretty darn, uh, pretty darn shiny. And to get an overview of how it looks, I have to get down a little bit. And I think it looks pretty darn nice. I mean, there, where, there's the pointy stick of destiny. There it is. That blue pointy stick. It's like this area right here actually shined up pretty good. You can see some depth in there, especially around this outside. And then there's layers upon layers upon layers. Maybe that'll work better. You know, we've got a big layer here. We've got many, many little layers. And especially around the outside, you got these smaller, smaller Rapidy layers. Zing, zing. I hope the camera is picking this up. I really am. Because I'm not sure how this, the screen doesn't look as good on the phone as it does on the television. But man, that is, that is really, really nice. And it still sets sort of rocky. But it's, that's really nice. I just, I just don't know how to say it. That's really nice. Or how else to say it. You can see the structures, you can see the layers build up really nice. And all in all, it's just a nice, come on pointy stick, get back in there. It's just a nice piece overall. So I can honestly say that this stalagmite is a win. So if you like the video, Hit the button down there, subscribe, uh, and ring the bell. Because then you'll know when I'm doing any of this crazy stuff or sciencey stuff. And I just enjoy doing it so you can see. So thanks for spending some time with me and have a good evening.